Cross County Talk, I'm going to be doing the instant reaction from my garden. I thought I'd make the most of the last few minutes of the sun. Um, it's finished Notts County 3, Oxford City 1. Quite a poor first half, I thought, from Notts. We didn't really show much. We didn't offer too much. I thought we were really sloppy in possession. Um, we were unlucky to concede, I think, in the way we did concede. Obviously, took a heavy deflection, which left Slocum stranded, really. So, not much c can really be done about that goal, in my opinion. Felt a bit sorry for Golden, not the best debut to have, obviously. Scores an own goal, picks up an injury and has to be bought off before half-time. So, <clears throat> you know, we hope he gets better and he gets to show what Levy really is at because I don't think it was a fair reflection. You know, he, he played all right in the time that he did play. But obviously, if you look at the, the facts in the game, it doesn't look great. But, uh, yeah, the, the goal from Sam, the scorpion kick, what a goal that was. I mean, we, we tweeted, didn't we, Puskas award winner for this season it, it could well be like when do you ever see any player even try that never mind a Notts County player so fantastic goal I think Sam was really good today it's good to see him you know get some minutes under his belt as well because I feel like he the games that he has started he's been subbed off at least at, the, at sort of the hour mark so it's good to see him sort of get those minutes under him and have like I said in the preview like a good game from start to finish um, don't get me wrong, you know, he's, he's done a couple of things where you're thinking he could have done better there, decision-making decision could have been better. But massive improvements from him today. I thought he was I thought he was really good, really impressed me. Um, and I think something that shocked me a bit today is how well he can actually take on a man. We've not really seen it from him massively this season. So, you know, fair play to him on that. And Jimmy Knowles, I mean, he's such a great player. Um, we were staying it in the watch-along where... I think his contract ends at Mansfield at the end of this season. So if they don't sign him or extend his contract, I think even if they do offer to extend his contract, I think we should offer him a contract because he's been he's been great for us. You know, such a young talent. He was so creative today. I'm sure Tom's going to give him a good score in the player ratings because what a player he, he's turned out to be. But you know, on the whole, you've got to look at that and think. You know, good three-one win. Some players scored. That I think needed goals mainly Sam really Knowles doesn't really need any more goals does he but I think for, for Sam the goals have come perfectly because A it gives the fans a little bit more confidence in him and I think B it gives him a lot more confidence in himself you know a player that obviously backs his ability we're trying a goal or trying a shot like that and it, and it coming off so fair play to him to lob the keeper with a, a scorpion kick you're never going to see that really probably ever again so fair play to him but yeah on to the semi-final now one game away from Wembley I think it's a good opportunity for just the squad to, to be in sort of that positive mood where we win our next game we're at Wembley. But hopefully, I'm hoping it's the only Wembley trip the Knots have to go on this season and we don't get promotion via the playoffs. But let me know what you thought of the performance, guys. I'm generally quite pleased. Um, maybe it would have been better if we didn't concede the goal, but you know we can't be too harsh, I don't think, because of the way that the goal did go in. So like I say, let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.